so one of the talks that I'm going to be presenting is uh, looking at intestinal failure associated liver disease um, and the topic is when to worry. Um, I think one of the important things what we don't understand at this moment is uh, one, why uh, this entity called intestinal failure associated liver disease exists. This uh, is associated a lot with parental nutrition therapy and for reasons unknown to us, uh, while this is a life-saving therapy, uh, patients when they go on this therapy develop liver disease. Um, actually my research, uh, uh, you know, my lab and our research is looking a lot as to some of the uh, therapeutic interventions as well as ameliorative measures to see if we can make this better, but nevertheless uh, we still need to uh, get concerned in the clinical world as we care for patients uh, when do you start getting worried. Uh, and I think that's where this talk is headed. Um, is there a certain uh, lab test that you get worried? Is there a certain nutritional parameter that you get worried? Um, is there a certain duration that you have been on this uh, uh, therapy that you get worried? Uh, is there an underlying disease process uh, for instance, why the patient has the intestinal failure. Uh, is that uh, a corroborative uh, evidence to say that these patients will get more injury? I think those are the things we'd like to get covered uh, in this talk. Again, this is going to be a, a, a very interactive session. Um, I think we'll love to have participation uh, and get ideas and feedback uh, from other people and other participants. Uh, but I think this is an area which is rapidly evolving and some of these questions are very relevant clinically and if you can get answers to those or even uh, set the stage to get answers to those, uh, I think it will uh, have great uh, impact in the clinical field.